Hey guys, this is Rawson. Today we'll be developing another graphic design concept by using some great techniques. Using these techniques, you'll be able to create a variety of alphanumeric designs. If you look at this design, we have got two different structures by using the same concept. Our main objective is how to create this alphanumeric cubicle box. Once you create that, you'll be able to create a variety of designs. So let's begin with the designing process. So here is a cubicle box which is going to be the base for our graphic design. Using this cubicle box, you'll be able to create out the whole design. So to create this box, take a rectangle tool, then with the Alt and Shift pressed, create a small square. Then fill it up with red color. Now we'll create another copy of the square shape. So with the Alt press click and drag to create a duplicate. After that, select the two squares and take a copy. Then rotate it. Then place this square under the first two squares. Now we'll use this square to create a check pattern. So select all the four squares and go to object pattern and click on make. This will open a dialog box. In that box, it will show that the selected shapes has been added to a swatches panel like pattern. Now click on OK. Then we'll get a pattern option panel. In this panel, make the copies to 5 by 7 and click on done. And now we can delete out the square shapes. After that, select the rectangle tool and create out a rectangle shape. We'll apply the check pattern to this shape. So click on the pattern under the swatches panel. Now we want all the square shapes to be separated. So select the shapes and go to object and click on expand. Then go to pathfinder panel and click on divide option. This will divide each square. Next, right click and click on ungroup. Now we have separated the squares. Next, delete out the incomplete square shapes. Click and drag to select and delete it out. After this, we need three rectangular shapes with a different proportion of width and height. This can be considered as three faces of the cuboid. For the first one, we need seven by six division. So to get that, We'll make use of these checkboxes. We'll select 7 by 6 square divisions and drag it out with the R press to create a duplicate. For the second one, select 5 by 6 division, count the squares vertically 5 and horizontally 6 and select the squares. Then create a copy. In the same way, we'll create a shape for 7 by 5 square divisions. Now delete the remaining squares and place the three divisional square shapes on the artboard. After that, open the symbol panel and drag and drop the 5 by 6 divisional square shape into the panel and name it as 5 by 6. Then repeat the same process for the other two shapes, name it with a specified divisional number. Now we need to create a cuboid with a ratio 7 is to 6 is to 5. But that has to be a bigger dimension. So we'll multiply each of the proportional values with a bigger number like 30. You can choose any other number. This will give us uh, 210 is to 180 is to 150. These numbers are in the ratio 7 is to 6 is to 5. Now select the rectangle tool and click on the artboard. Then enter the width value 210 and the height value 180. After that, fill it up with a color. Next, go to Effect 3D and click on Extrude and Bevel. Here, switch on Preview option and set the Extrude Depth value to 150. Then start adjusting the perspective angle with X, Y and Z values manually. Give it a nice perspective view. Now, we'll map the check symbol on the cuboid surfaces. So click on the map art and switch on the invisible geometry so that we can see only the check symbols and not the cuboid. After that, place the 7x6 divisional symbol on the right face of the box and click on scale to fit. And now rotate it and scale it to fit to the box to match the 7x6 
proportion. Next, click on this right icon and select the 5 of 6 surface. After that, apply 7 by 5 divisional symbol on the left face. Then rotate it and scale it to fit to the edge. Now once again, count and check the rows and columns of the left and the right faces. Here, you can see that the right face has got 6 rows. So to fix that, let's get back to the surface again and edge the symbol and scale it to fit. Now see the rows and columns are in equal position. After that select the 6 of 6 surface and apply 5 by 6 divisional symbol for the top face. Then click on OK. Here once again check the edges are fixed with the pattern or not. Then edges that. Next select the cuboidal box and place it aside. Then create a copy of the shape and place it on the artboard. Now go to object and click on expand appearance. After that, go to the pathfinder panel and click on divide option. This will divide each square shapes separately. After that, right click and ungroup it. Now each square can be selected separately. Next select the cuboid and create a copy. Then keep them aside from the artboard. Here in this cuboid, select the squares to form an alphabet or a number shape and click on unite option. This will combine all the shapes and form a single shape. Hence we got a letter A on the left face. Now let's select the shape to get the letter O on the right face. Then apply unite option. And now in the same way we'll create the number 6 shape on top face. After that take some more copies of the cuboid. With these cuboid we can create any number or alphabets by selecting the squares and uniting them. With these techniques, we are going to achieve these types of perspective alphanumeric graphic design. Now after creating some more alphabets and numbers, take a copy of the cuboid and go to the object, then click on expand appearance. Then right click and ungroup it. Now each face will be separated. So select the right face and click on unite option. After that, switch the fill color to stroke. Then under stroke panel, choose align stroke outside. So repeat the same process for the top and the left face and apply the same stroke with the eyedropper tool. Next, select the cuboid stroke and make a copy. Now here, check the placement at the corners and place it adjacent to each other. Now select both the outline strokes and create another copy with the alt pressed. And place it adjacent to the lower edges. Here, we are forming a step shape. You can arrange this cuboid in many ways. After that, select the alphabet and the numbers from one cuboid and set them on the outline cuboid matching the faces. We'll do the same for the rest of the vectors. So select the alphanumeric vectors and place them on each corners of the outline cuboid then edge them properly. After that, set the corners of the shape on the outlines. Next, check the front and the back placement and bring them to front in order to get our design. After that, select one outline cuboid and edge the corners. Now select the top face outline, take a copy by pressing the alt key and place it at the bottom. Next select the line segment tool and create a line from the top face corner to the bottom face corner. Now take a copy of this cuboid, then select the alphanumeric shape and set them on the outline. Check the corner placement. Now take some more copies by pressing the alt key and place the shapes on the outline. Using the smart guide, it becomes very easier to place it on the corners. After that, select the shape on the outlines and bring them to front. Next, select the artboard tool and increase the width of our artboard. 
Now take your rectangle tool and create outer rectangle same size of the artboard for our background. Then fill it up with any color and send it to back. Let's do some color adjustment. So let's select the text vector from our previous design and drag and bring it to our main file. Here select the vectors from each side and pick the color using the eyedropper. Once done, let's change the color of the background. Now to select only the outline cuboid, select all the text vector shapes and group them up by pressing the Ctrl or Command G. Then lock them using the shortcut Command or Ctrl 2. Now drag and select the outlines and pick a dark color from the color picker panel. Now we'll change the stroke color of each of the cuboid box. So select them with the shift pressed and apply dark faded magenta color using the color picker. Next we'll create a new geometrical design using the alphanumeric cuboid. You can use this shape to create any structure. It depends on what you want to create. Place the box according to your imagination in any perspective shapes. Use the shortcut Kamara Control Open Square Bracket to send any object back. And snap each corners properly. Once you are done with the placement of the cuboid, we'll edit the color of each faces. Select the shape from the right face and pick the light green color from the previous design using the eyedropper tool. We'll do the same process for the other faces as well. Select them with a the shift pressed and choose the appropriate color. Now we'll do a little adjustments with the outline cuboid. Zoom in and try to match the edges and corners. Snap them corner to corner with the help of smart guide. Then select all the individual text shapes and arrange them to front. This way we'll get all the outlines on the background. Do the final adjustments before going to the next step. After this, we'll do further adjustments in Photoshop. So drag and drop the design into a new Photoshop document, scale up the size and place it around here. Now double click on the background layer to open the layer star panel. We'll use this to change the color of the background. So activate color overlay option and choose a proper color using the color picker panel. Edge the sliders to experiment with different color tones. Let's choose a color that is little similar to our design. Then click OK. Now drag in our second design as well. We'll prepare the cover design for both the geometry. Scale it up and place it on the right side. Now let's add a title to your design. Use the shortcut T to activate the text tool. Then type out variation. Choose a proper font for the text. Let's apply this font. Now do some adjustments with the text to give a nice look. In the same way, We'll create the cover for the second design. Use the same font style. And finally, we have completed designing a geometrical alphanumeric concept using some very simple tools and options. We have used a very unique techniques to achieve the final output. The possibility of this design is very large. Each time you can create different geometrical cubicle shapes with different numbers and alphabets. Follow the tutorial along and create your own designs. Upload your projects and let me know if you have any questions in the comment section. Thank you.